Okay, Boathouse of Anaheim, BoathouseofAnaheim.com. We have a uh, Defiance 2008 model year, 220EX. Let's take a look at this one. Pretty low hours. Check the website for details. It does have a uh, anchor windlass you can see from the front. Check down the uh, port side of the boat here. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Don't see really too much damage. Looking here at the little imperfection here, and I think that's in the tape. I don't think that's any gaff damage. The hull looks like in really, really good shape. Sorry for the helicopter going overhead. Has uh, pop-up cleats that you see here, load guides on the trailer. Uh, let's get this out of the way. This does have the uh, Armstrong, Armstrong style bracket, the Yamaha 154 stroke. Hydraulic steering here at the uh, starboard side. Again, looks like it's in very, very good condition. It's the vent here for the fuel tank. Again, no marks, scratches, gouges. It does have a uh, full size spare. Take a little shot of the keel area here. Again, I don't see anything on the keel even up here. Uh, some rubber marks pretty typical this boat just came in so it does need a little bit of a bath but big giant co cockpit in this boat especially for a 22 footer because of the uh, transom bracket and the full transom okay we'll take a look uh, below the bracket here it does have uh, hydraulic trim tabs these are your scuppers up there Let's see on the starboard side. Well, this has a through hull transducer, so there's no transducer on the back of the boat. Again, no, this is also excellent shape. Pretty much uh, meticulous. Okay, let's take a little trip around the cockpit of this boat. Cooling pads, a little dirt, but I think that'll all clean up. Again, this thing has been in a storage lot for a while. So. Needs a little, does have the optional rear uh, stainless steel grab handles. These here are some uh, storage boxes. Let's check them out here. This could be used for a uh, fish box. And this has the big uh, bait tank, the offshore tank in here. I think that's a 38 or 42 gallon tank. The uh, cutting board, the starboard side of the boat, have another fish box that can be used for uh, storage. Okay, the Defiance is equipped with a full aft bulkhead. Opens up, clips here. Let's take a look at the inside of the cabin. You have two, I'm going to call them jump seats that face each other. It's on the port side. Take a little look at the uh, starboard side and you have a storage area under here and then two seats helm area it's an autopilot system um, we haven't had a chance to check that out I do not believe it's operational might just need an adjustment and you have a Garmin GPS, fish finder, and map system. You have anchor windless controls here. There's your Lumar uh, 50 amp uh, power switch. And then you have the uh, Insta Trim port and starboard hydraulic trim tabs, fuel gauge, tachometer, basic electronics. This does have a Yamaha sight control mount. A little different. Uh, there is some wiring here, and you know, this is kind of a commercial type setup bow. That definitely could be uh, cleaned up a little bit. There is a 12 volt receptacle here, and for some reason, there's two compasses. And then it looks like the side window is open, and this forward end window will open as well, so you can get some uh, ventilation, and then these side windows will slide open. ICOM. 304 VHF radio. Mic clip over here. 
Looks like there's a spot underneath this uh, middle cushion for a porta potty. Again, the cushions are kind of dusty. Not really in bad shape. They just need to be clean. I don't see any tears or rips or anything like that. A little bit of a stain here, probably maybe from hydraulic steering fluid going in the boat. This has the sand finish. From the coast of New and it also has some lower portholes that open as well. Let's swing around here to the back of the cabin. Got some pretty nice heavy duty seats here. Again, if you've seen the Defiance at the boat shows, pretty typical. This is a Springs field seat and has a footrest integrated into it. Take a look at the helm seat here. These are removable cushions, so you can replace those pretty easily. Same thing on these two uh, jump seats. Okay, the port and starboard seats have storage. There's your uh, battery switch there. That storage locks up here, and then you also have storage here. There's the actual two batteries on this side, and then let's take a look on the other side. Sorry for my low camera work here, but you have storage there. This up, and you have storage there. Again, this is underneath the two seats that face each other. A little different arrangement than most boats. And as I stated, these side windows open up, and then this opens up and it has these lifters here. There is a uh, wiper here as well. The windlass, it's an integrated bow pulpit. One nice thing about the Defiance, it has the one inch kind of oversized rail here. So you can really stand up here and lean against it if you have some rough conditions. A little bit higher than the average rail. You have a hatch here, and this is a pilot house with a walk around. It's a little tight, but there is a uh, grab handle up top. Here's your Garmin uh, radar dome for your integrated system. Looks like you've got some kind of air horn or something fancy horn over here. This also has the rod bar here. You have uh, one, two, three. So you have eight uh, rocket launchers and a couple of deck lights. Here's your uh, GPS antenna. Kind of a close-up of the rod bar. Got two deck lights, port and starboard, and your rod storage. There's a look around the uh, walk around. Kind of a little tight, but uh, you can squeeze through there. Okay, one last look at this uh, Defiant 220EX. Boats turnkey and ready to fish. Boathouse of Anaheim, Boathouse of Anaheim.